फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन दो इन द ओरिजिनल ऑर्डर ग्रांटिंग बेल देयर इज अ रेफरेंस टू एन एग्रीमेंट ऑफ द पार्टीज टू हैव अ टॉक ऑफ कॉम्प्रोमाइज थ्रू द मीडिया ऑफ वेल विशर्स देयर इज नो सबमिशन मेड टू द कोर्ट दैट देयर विल बी ए कॉम्प्रोमाइज और दैट द एपेलेंट वुड टेक बैक हिज वाइफ बी दैट एज इट मे इन आर ओपिनियन द कोर्ट्स बिलो कुड नॉट हैव कैंसल्ड द बेल सोलली ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट द एपेलेंट हैड फेल्ड टू कीप अप हिज प्रोमिस मेड टू द कोर्ट हियर वी हेसन टू ऑब्जर्व फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रॉम द मैटेरियल ऑन रिकॉर्ड we do not find that there was any compromise arrived at between the parties at all hence question of fulfilling the terms of such compromise does not arise that apart non fulfillment of the terms of the compromise cannot be the basis of granting or cancelling a bail the grant of bail under the criminal procedure code is governed by the provision of chapter 33 of the code and the provision therein does not contemplate either granting of a bail on the basis of an assurance of a compromise or cancellation of a bail for violation of the terms of such compromise what the court has to bear in mind while granting bail is what is provided for in section 437 of the said code in our opinion having granted the bail under the said provision of law it is not open to the trial court or the high court to cancel the same on a ground alien to the grounds mentioned for cancellation of bail in the said provision of law it thus appears that ratio with respect to cancellation of bail has been clearly laid down in as much as non fulfillment of the terms of the compromise cannot be a basis for cancelling bail moreover some doubt definitely creeps out since the opposite party number 2 was purported to be treated at dhanbad on 10 12 2013 for an assault which had taken place on 4 12 2013 at asansol in the state of west bengal it is an admitted position that the occurrence of purported assault had taken place on 4 12 2010 she was treated on 10 12 2013 at dhanbad and the application for cancellation of bail was filed on 10 12 2013 by the opposite party number 2 but the injury report was never brought on record along with an application dated 10 12 2013 filed for cancellation of bail subsequently by way of list of documents filed on 8 12 2013 the alleged injury report has been brought on record in such circumstance therefore i find that the learned additional sessions judge 11 dhanbad did not consider the aforesaid aspects of the matter while cancelling the bail granted earlier to the petitioner in his order dated 5 1 2014 is video ke description box mein इस पैसेज का टेक्स्ट दिया हुआ है